Hi guys, Fagi Mari here, about to make yapchik with all of you guys, and I'm going to show you, this year we have a three-day yantif, so I'm going to show you how to make yapchik before yantif to prepare it so that you could cook it Friday on yantif to have a delicious fresh yapchik for Shabbos. The very first thing that I'm doing is taking place about 12 to 24 hours in advance um, before I'm actually going to be making the yakchik. This can also be done on a stovetop, but it just makes it so much easier. So I have here two very large onions that I cut into half moon circles and I drizzled about two tablespoons of oil on it. I'm going to cover it really tightly and stick it in the oven on 200 overnight. So these are all the ingredients that you're going to need. Obviously, if you want to add something to it, you totally can. I really do like to put kishka into my yantav yapchik, but I'm home now and I don't have kishka and I'm not going out to the grocery. So I have here a chuck roast. I have here paprika. Again, if you don't use paprika on paste off, that's totally fine. You can easily omit it. I have an onion, potatoes, garlic, oil, egg, black pepper, and salt. Obviously, I'm gonna give you the exact measurements for everything that you need, so no need to worry, just follow along. Okay, so I'm just getting started on the potatoes. I'm starting to peel them. This video is really more about preparing it like before Yantif to make it on Yantif to have it ready for Shabbos Chalamaid. Um, So if you have a specific potato kogo recipe that you absolutely love and you wanna use, by all means, go ahead. But for the sake of just flow, I'm just gonna show you how I prepare my potato kogo. So, I'm just going to start by peeling these potatoes. And I'm repeating, if you want to use your own potato kogel recipe, by all means, go ahead with it. These are the two blades that I'm going to be using. This is the shredded blade. For those of you that have the brawn, it is the C blade, C like Charlie, and then this is the S blade. Using the S blade, that's a knife blade, I put the onions in and I'm just <laughs> added the onions and the salt and pepper and spices. I just threw in some extra garlic powder and onion powder while it was added, and now I'm just gonna beat it up. Now, this part is very important. I'm beating it just until the eggs are beaten, no more, because if you overbeat it, the eggs will fluff up, and the kugel will get very cakey, and it won't be good. Leaving the egg, mixture, the egg onion mixture in here, I'm just switching blades right now. I switched to this blade, and now I'm gonna shred the potatoes. Now transfer the mixture to a bowl, and this is where I'm going to be adding my oil. I'm adding about one cup of oil. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to measure everything out for you, and then I'm just going to mix it. Okay, guys. Now, this is the moment that you've all been waiting for, how to prep the batter that it lasts for three days in the fridge for when you are about to make it Arab Shabbos. Okay, so I have here three different containers to show you that you could really put into any container you want. I have, you know, these long flat ones. I have a deli container and I have a soup container. So I'm just gonna use a soup container for now. Obviously you could use whatever works. I have a Ziploc bag that I'm just gonna kind of put around the rim of it for easy transfer. I am taking my batter and I'm just pouring it in. I'm just show you what I'm doing over here. I'm just going over the edge a little bit. That's okay, we love to make a mess. Okay, there you go. It's in the bag. Now, it will turn a little bit gray, which is totally, totally fine because anyways, you're slow cooking it, so the gray part um, will kind of just cook into itself. Now, when you're in the bag, what you want to do is press out as much ear as you're closing it. If you see what I'm doing, I'm pushing out all the ear. Press out as much ear as possible. So you see, it's almost like it's vacuum sealed. You stick it in here, stick it in the fridge, done. Now, this is the potato part that's taken care of. I have here, again, a chuck roast that I cut up. I'm sticking it into a bag. I cut it up now. You could This you can easily do on Yantif, but I'm just trying to minimize any preparation I actually have to do on Yantif. I'm trying to prepare as much as possible now. I stick it into a bag. You could use flanken. You could use kalachal. You could use any meat that you like to use um, for your challenge. So I have it in a bag. I'm just going to stick this and my potato mixture into the fridge. And then comes Yantif, I'm gonna continue with the rest of the prep. 
Now it's either Thursday night or Friday morning, whenever you want to do it. You could easily put it into the oven Thursday night um, to really, really, really slow cook for a very long time. You could do it Friday morning, either or it works. I have my potato kugel mixture. I have my meat. I have my onions that I did overnight. And then I have my sliced garlic and I have a pan that is oiled. Okay, so now again, I'm doing this on Yantif. I'm just taking some potato kugel batter and I'm putting it into the bottom of the pan. I'm just spreading it out. Again, also this recipe, by the way, can easily, easily be doubled, tripled, halved, whatever works. And then on top of the potato kugel batter, I am placing the meat. Typically, I would put kishka here as well, but unfortunately, we're homebound and I don't have kishka right now, so I am skipping it. I'm just placing the meat onto here. And then I'm just taking the rest of the batter and I'm pouring it straight onto, on top of the meat. And I'm just kind of using the bottom of my measuring cup to spread it out. And then here's where the fun part comes. Remember last night I made these onions? I'm just putting them on and I'm just gonna spread them out on top. Again, this is optional, but it gives it such a delicious, robust flavor. And then I have my garlic that I'm just gonna sprinkle on top of it. Look how gorgeous this looks. It's not even cooked yet. I'm really, really, really excited. Now I'm going to cover it tightly and cook it on 200 until it's ready.